Hi, I'm going to show you what you need to do differently if you're using OpenOffice to create your histogram. The count, the min, the max, range, the width of the bin, which you decide on, maybe 5 is a good number, you could use 10, I would use a multiple of 5, or and then the number of bins, that's all the same as how you would calculate them in Excel. Remember, I create the, the intervals myself. I know I need a width of a bin of 5. So I just put 0 to 5. I just type that in. And then I typed all of these in all the way down to 70 to 75 because I see that my highest number, my maximum, is 66. The 65 to 70 contains my maximum. And then I put one that I expect to be blank at the end. And then I just typed in the the highest bin number or the of the values that could actually be in the bin remember Excel needs that open office needs that as well so I typed in 4 and then for this bin the number would be 9 and then I saw that I was going up by 5's so I could just add 5 to each of the previous numbers there's all my the upper bounds of all my bins and I'm ready to do open office histogram. To do that, I'm going to need a row that's going to give me the midpoint. So midpoint of the bin, and that's something that I'm going to need when I do the histogram itself, not to calculate the, the number of occurrences or the frequencies. This one I'll name frequencies and that's the one I need right now. So I'm going to select those that column, the parts of the column, and then I'll come to insert and to function. And then here I'm looking for the word frequency. So I'm going to scroll down until oh it changed me to financial. So if I type F, it just kind of brings me down there. And then I see frequency, so I'm going to click that. And then click on Next. To use the frequency function in OpenOffice, I'm going to click this little icon, which is the same thing you have in Excel that lets you actually select your data. So I'll click that. It makes this window very small. Come over here, start with my first item. I do have to drag and I'm holding down on my mouse button to select all these because OpenOffice won't let me use control shift down arrow. So I click on the first one, hold down my mouse, and drag all the way down to the bottom, to the bottom data point. Come back up here, click maximize. Now I need to do the same thing for the classes. That's going to be the bins. So I'll push on this button here. Scroll back up and the upper bounds of the bins that we calculated I'm just starting out by clicking on the first item hold down my mouse button and then drag down to all of the data and there I have both of those filled in it's showing me what the formula should look like and then I can just tell it OK and now it's calculated the frequency for this data using these upper bounds and so it's showing me zero in my highest bin, which I expected, and zero in my lowest bin. That's nice. I, if I have several at the bottom that are zeros, then I'll start my data where they're not zeros and have just one empty bin on either end of my data. That looks best. So I have an empty bin on either end here. I need to figure out what the midpoints are. So the midpoint of this first interval from zero to five is 2.5. And remember, you can get that by adding up 0 plus 5 and divide by 2. Then the midpoint of this bin is 7.5. And I'm seeing that I'm going up by 5, so I'm now going to do equals. Click on the cell above, plus 5. And that's going to give me 12.5, which is the middle of 10 to 15. And then I'll just drag that down so it'll calculate for me. Between 70 and 75, the middle number is 72.5, so I can see that it's done that correctly for me. Now I have the midpoints and I have the frequencies. So I'm going to select both of those. 
and come up here on open office it's a chart icon on the bar it brings up a chart which doesn't look right but we'll fix it the first thing I check is it's a column in the first one and then I go to next it's scrolling down on the steps over here so data range it's showing me those I need to click first column as a label because right now it's, it was using it as data and you can see it's adjusted for me and so that looks a lot closer to what I wanted now I'll go to the next and it's showing me the um, Y values that's fine here's where I can type in the title so that's going to be number per day by a call center employee. And then for my X axis, that's going to be the number of phone calls. And my Y axis up this side, that's the number of days that had that many. And then it has a display legend. I can just unclick that because I really don't want it to display the legend. And press finish. It's very close. So I'm going to click off of it to get, if you accidentally click off of your, of your chart, you can just double click to get back into edit mode. I'm going to click on one of the data bars and then right click and format data series come here to options if that's not already showing and where it says spacing put zero percent and then come to area I'm going to change it to a little bit lighter blue and then come to borders where it says invisible I'm going to make it continuous and then I'll tell it okay and it should look a lot better now there we go so there's my my chart that that my histogram that I've created all the bars are smashed up next to each other I have a gap where there was no data and I have one gap on either end that's a nice way to do your histogram so I'll slide it over just slightly and I need to see if I can do control tilde yes so control tilde works on here in the same way that it does in Excel I just need to make sure my my um, columns are a little bit wider and then I can count I can select all of those and do control C and then so if I select all of this and do control C then I can go to a word type document and do a control V to paste it I can also click on my chart and do control C and then control V in my other document to paste it. Um, if I want the data here, I can select it as well. Control C to select, to copy, and then control V to paste. So remember in your document that you submit to me, you should have your data. So you might want to select that, copy and paste to your document you need to have your um, this is the formula view because it's showing all the formulas so control C on that control V to paste come back and do control tilde that will convert it back to the numbers view and then you may want to just resize your columns select that control C and then you can control V to paste it into your document and last, you'll want to make sure you include your graph. So click on the histogram, control C, and then control V to paste it.